Hi students, this next video will show you how to start your document and how to create your cover page. So the first thing you'll do is when you go to the language arts tab on the website is you'll come down to the starbook portion and you're going to find the link right here for the paper template. You're going to click on that and it's going to download down here. This will be the only Microsoft Word document that you will need for this entire starbook project. When it comes up, you'll see that the pages have already been sized for you, and you're going to want to make sure you click on the Enable Editing button. And so then what will come up here is you will have the ability to see all of your tools and everything above here, and that the pages are rectangular in shape, and they're actually quite tiny because they are the correct proportion that you will put in the star book. So the first thing you'll need to notice, too, is in the middle of every page, is there's a line that is your your spine line and then of course you'll scroll down and see that this document has a total of eight pages one for the cover page and seven for each of the pages that go in your book so I'm going to scroll back up to the top here and as you know with the cover page we're ignoring the first half and we're only putting information in the second half so I'm going to go to insert picture and I'm going to go the first time it's going to take me a little bit to find I need to go to my documents with my O drive I'm looking for that big O and when I click on that, I'm going to then come down here and find the star book file I created. And here are all the images. Hopefully you have about a dozen probably for your book. And for my cover, I'm just going to put a picture of my main character. And when that inserts, it's going to come up randomly on where it's at. The first thing I want to do is I want to come over and I'm going to make sure I can right click on it. And I want to format the photo. So I'm going to come over and format picture. And we're going to make sure that the layout is going to be in, in excuse me, tight. Because that means that I can move it around where I want to go. And so after I do that, then I can take it and I can move it over to one side. I may have to resize it because you saw, see here the line is in the middle. So I can resize it so it can fit on the document. Now I need to add words here, the title and who it's from. And so for that, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to insert a text box. And the text box is right here. Anytime you write anything in this book that you're creating will always be in a text box. All words must be in a text box. When you click on this, you're going to come all the way down to the bottom where it says draw text box. And then that allows you to use this cross tool to go ahead and make the box of where you're going to put your text box. And then you'll type in your title. You don't need to put in by because we know it's from you. And then give it some information. And make this text box a little bit bigger here. Some information, like when the kid rem tries to remember where this is from, from Washington Middle School in 2016, so they can remember when you came over. You're going to highlight your text. You're going to do this every time you create a text box. Come up to Home Formatting. You're going to go to your spacing and you want to go to line spacing options. You're going to go to single. And then over here, before and after needs to both also be a single. So zero, zero, and then you click OK. Your pages are all together now. I'm going to center it up here. I'm going to make the font a little bit bigger. I also want to kind of give some space in between my title. And I'm going to make this bold and maybe make the title itself a little bit bigger. This line does not need to be 14, it can be smaller. And there you go. Now the only thing is when I unclick it, there's this box here. And it's kind of nice for all your text boxes to take that box out. So you're going to click on it, you're going to right click, come up to format your text box. You want to go to colors and lines and basically take that color from black to no color and it takes the line away. So now after doing these few simple steps, you have just created your cover page. And the rest of your book is all right here ready to go. But for now, before we get started too much, we are going to save this document. So we're going to come up here to File, Save As. I want you to go and find on your computer your file. So we're going to click on Computer. And again, you're going to come here and I want you to find that O 
drive. You're then going to find your Starbook Picks file. So I'm coming down to the S's here. Right here, Starbook Picks. And you'll notice the name of your template is Paper Size Template. I want you now to name it with your name. And then Starbook. Because when you go to turn this in, this is the name of the file that I will get and I'll know who I'm printing. You're then going to come down and click Save. Once it's saved, you know that your work is complete. It'll go away and it'll come back. At this point, you can continue working on it or you can X out of the document and open it up at a later time to work.